community is just getting together for social events. That way people do not feel left out and feel that they ha don't have anything to do. Deaf people, especially in a quiet town, feel like they have nothing to do. So being able to create those events like silent dinner, really any event, that way the community can get together, really makes the deaf people feel that they can do whatever they want, just like what hearing people can do. My family doesn't really sign. Really, we use body language, hand gestures. My grandparents do know finger spelling, but that's it. The majority of communication happens with hand gestures and body language. When I was two years old, my grandparents raised me. My mother left me because she didn't want to deal with raising a deaf kid. So that's when my grandparents took over raising me. My dad was still a part of my life with them as my grandparents raised me. That was really difficult for me growing up in a hearing family. I didn't have any deaf people in my family and also didn't have any sign. Whenever I met my husband, that's when I was, who my husband himself used his full ASL. And when I met him, really just showed me kind of a difference in sign and that's where I started to change and use ASL more. I was able to pick it up, pick the language up better. And that's really one way that I got involved into the deaf community. Well, you know, my parents really forced me to grow up oral. Um, so really in the beginning, my parents wouldn't sign and didn't want me to sign until I was in second grade. So it wasn't until that point where I really um, realized what the deaf community was and became involved with that. Before, you know, it was a, kind of a struggle with me trying to communicate with my parents um, just because they didn't know sign language. And so most of the time I just read their lips and that's how we would communicate. Before, I wasn't really involved in the deaf community idea. I really had no clue what it was. But I think now, you know, I've learned sign language and I feel like I'm definitely a part of, of that community now at this point in my life. I think... Um, you know, improvements can always be made. I think maybe, um, you know, I think trying to just get involved more and try to grow the community um, every year, I think that's something that we could try to focus on is growing the community. You don't have to be a member to be involved in the deaf community. You need to be enthusiastic, but if you're interested in the community, you can be involved in it. Interpreters or students that are learning to be interpreters, you have deaf educators, or maybe you just want to communicate with deaf people. You want to interact with them. Be involved. You don't have to be a member of the community to be involved with it. So if you feel that you're interested and you want to be involved, you want to communicate with deaf people, you just want to be involved with us, then get involved. You know, sometimes hearing people could be kind of rude towards deaf people. You know, I've had a few experiences with that. Hearing people can really do whatever they want. Um, an example could be you could go through a drive through at a restaurant and order your food, or a deaf person can't always do that. Sometimes the drive, the drive through places refuse to take your order and make you come inside to order your food. Another example would be the police. You know, deaf people can't hear the police talk with them, but hearing people can. So maybe there's ways that we can help the deaf communicate better. That way they're not afraid when those interactions happen. You know, I think deaf people often try to bridge that gap and try to advocate for their rights. And I think if the hearing community would respect the deaf community a little bit more, I think often there's a lot of a lack of respect and that you know, tends to lead to some discrimination and inequalities. I think the future for me would look like, I think it would be great if everybody could sign hearing and deaf, just to have that communication. I think it's what we need as deaf people to be equal 
everybody's communicating in sign. That way the hearing world can learn from the deaf world and the deaf can learn from the hearing world. I think that's my picture of what the future looks like is that everybody is communi communicating in sign.